Hey guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. Today I want to create a layout using these photos of my daughter, Isabella. And this was Easter in 2020, and I just thought she looked so cute. So let's create that. So I'm wanting to create a frame style layout. And the first thing I'm going to do is map these photos. I printed them a true 4x6 and 3x4. Uh, cause I'm only going to have two photos on this and I wanted them a little bit bigger and I really love the way the white looks be around the photos. Um, so I I'm probably going to map them again, but for now I'm going to definitely map them in the white. So I decided to bring in this sage uh, pattern paper. I love all the little flowers all over it. It's springy and I think it's going to complement my photos. And then I go ahead, I went ahead and gutted that so I can conserve that paper for another project. And I think that that's going to look nice. So let's lay that here. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I want to do this. I think I want to tuck this under because there's some wasted or, you know, some dead space right there. Um, and so I think maybe I want to do this like this. Yes, I like that. I think that looks really cute. I'm thinking that I want to bring in a pattern paper for to map the back of these photos. I, I like how this is subtle and she has the pink in her dress. But I might want to bring in some flowers. So if I did pink flowers, maybe I could do yellow um, mats. I want this to be my main pattern in the background. So I just want subtle pops of color. Um, naturally, my focus is on my daughter. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And because um, I can flip it over either way. And I, I'm going to go from there. Let me show you what I did. I cut the frame for this photo out on the back of this paper because I love this paper and I want to get as many projects as I can out of it. And then I cut this like banner piece out. I had a, a metal die and I just cut that out of there. And I thought I could use that on this project or another project. Um, so you're not even going to see behind there. So I just didn't want to waste that. And I also, I have all of these flowers cut from my last project that I did and I will leave that linked at the end of this video so that way there if you're looking for more spring Easter time uh, inspiration or even more some more inspiration with this paper packet it'll be there um, so I brought these were from um, last month's close to my heart say it with flowers uh, stamp of the month um, and like I said I just had them already done and if you're interested this is the Just Chicken Inn. Isn't that cute? Such a fun Easter um, stamp set. Um, this is the stamp of the month for March. And um, you can also get the coordinating thin cuts. And I love that because I'd rather use that than fussy cut. Um, but this is only available in March. And um, I know that everyone's jumping on things with Close to My Heart announcing that they are closing down. Okay, let me show you this. So this is the sticker sheet to this paper collection and I took this off the sticker sheet and took the um, my anti-static pouch and took the sticky off so I can play with this. But I think and I'm thinking that I want this for my title and I wanna pull in maybe some of these words and I love these little banners and I'm thinking maybe I can put them up here somehow or even going across here, I'm not sure. But I really like them, um, this is the life. That's really cute. So I'm gonna use this for my title. So I'm thinking this could go here, but I do, I think that, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but these little tiny yellow, and I want to find a way to make those pop a little bit more, but I was thinking that I could back them with this pattern piece of paper. I love those butterflies. And I was thinking just that little bit, so you got the little stitch and I just cut it with my a little stitched um, circle. I can kind of place that right in the middle of that and have that stitching going right around um, the edge of that. So I want to take these flowers and kind of just build here and see what we can come up with.
let's see what this looks like right here. Okay, I like that. Yes, I like that a lot. I will probably cut that because I will not waste, I will not waste that paper back there. So I'll just cut that off maybe about right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of color onto here. Um, so I'm going to bring in my markers and I'm going to bring in, I'm probably going to do some um, paper piecing um, with this pattern so I can get more of that yellow with the polka dot in there and um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. All right, before I show you how I colored these and what I did, I'm just going to bring in a gray journaling pen and my T-square ruler and I'm going to do some fake stitching around here. I thought I'm going to come in about a fourth of an inch and I just thought that that would look really cute. So I'm just going to use my ruler and go ahead and just put some fake stitching on here and go from there. So let me give you a look at the paper pack real quick that I'm using. So this is the Honey Bunny paper collection by Close to My Heart. And I just really loved all the pretty spring colors. And then you had this side. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you were um, wondering what I was using. So I got these stickers um, glued down where I wanted them and I love them. I really love the way they turned out. And I didn't bring in any markers. I got them out and started to color and I was like, no way, I don't wanna do that. And so I literally took the pattern paper, okay? So I grabbed this pink one that I put back here and I, I stamped the flower, the, that little section of the image I like masked off with paper and I stamped the pink one and then I stamped the yellow one right here and then and that's the same yellow that I brought in here and then I um okay so I took a piece of paper and I took my blending brushes and I took my inks so I took sage and glacier and I literally just colored with my blending brush, I inked it up and I colored. This is just plain white cardstock, I colored. So I did that for the glacier and I did that for the sage and then I fussy cut them so I still had that beautiful white um, border around there and I really loved the way they came out. Okay, so I had a few more that I could play with or I mean I have a lot that I could play with but um, I am gonna add that um, little piece there back in and I just love that. That is so cute. Um, and then I was thinking, I still, I need to have my third embellishment um, cluster. So I was thinking that I would bring in stickers off the sticker sheet. And I just loved these stickers. And I literally already pull off several of them. And I pull off the word sentiments. And so... I pull off the, I pull, I pulled off these, this, these were just fun things that I thought that I could use. Um, the springtime, the memories, all smiles. I loved this little, um, the little tab thingy. And then here's another banner. Okay, so this banner I just cut with the um, cardstock because I have this and I want to bring it in again. I know it's I I know I have it here, here, and here, but I I want to bring it in up here or somewhere in this direction. And then um, I have this other word sentiment, and it is what does this say? I got a piece of paper on there. Amazing. So I'm thinking that I would like to have this about up here. So then I'm, I'm going to put this one up here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I like it. And I want to bring some flowers. So I, I do still have all of these. Um, for sure, I want to bring a flower. So let's maybe, maybe a little cluster up here. So let's do here. And I'll bring in some leaves and then I, of course I love this thing okay perfect and then um oh 
I definitely want to get this up here so I could do all three of these here and put this back here or I can even do it I think it takes away so you know what let's stick this let's stick it here um, and then I'll go back and put this up here and I might add in the other ones, but I'm going to add in just one for right now. Use my little tool here. I love this thing. Just breaks up that glue real quick and I'll go in and add some more, but I want to move this down a little bit. That's cute, I like that. Um, and then maybe we'll bring all smiles up here. Yeah. And then I'll bring it up here. And then um, let's bring this up here too. That adds into like the little dashes, like the dashes that I did. So that's like perfect. And then I think that I would like to do amazing. Let's do amazing up there so that way that we add that green in. And we'll put that right over top of the photo. And then we'll bring in these. Let's bring in these here. Oh, how cute are those? Those are so cute. So I really do like those. Um, I'm not sure if I'll add some more in right there but i really do like those i think that's a great um visual triangle and i added in all the colors the same colors in all three areas look at these super cute fun butterflies i love them they're gonna look perfect on this layout so let me show you that so i got those from the honey bunny um card making workshop so it has this stamp set um and i love that look at the little like um Kind of like what you put under the butterfly those are so cute and then there's coordinating die cuts so i cut these i cut these out already and i'm going to show you how i did that so let's bring in this scrap piece of paper i have so i'm going to bring in that honey butter uh honey butter ink and i cut this one the top part i cut on the dark side of the honey butter cardstock and i cut the light I cut it on the light side, the bottom part. I just like that little two-tone effect. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of inking around the edges there. So I just wanna bring in this just down here in the corners, just to give it a little bit more texture. And then I'm gonna do it to the top part here on the butterfly. How cute is this? Oh, I love this butterfly. I'm gonna do lots of things with this butterfly. Okay, so, and then I will just put it together and I will take my um, middle piece and I will glue that on. I hope you can see the detail in those wings. I just love those little swirly things. Okay, so I do want to point out that when I put my put my title on here, I kind of moved it down because I wanted to line this up over here with this photo. I thought it kind of gave it kind of like a grounding area and I really like that. I love this offset of this photo. I thought that looked really um, cute. So let's put a butterfly here to tie those in right there. Oh my goodness, I love that. That is so cute. We could possibly add the little swirly thing right there. Um, if you're enjoying this process video, please hit that like button and um, share this video. It goes a long way to support in, um, my channel and it will help me to be able to continue to share these process videos with you and hit the notification button so you don't miss any more videos and subscribe if you have not subscribed subscribed I really appreciate your support I think I like that up there you know I don't want to I don't want to like put something in front of that I think I like this I want to be careful not to cover my words right there that's cute. And then let's bring this one over here. So let's, let's bring it like this. Maybe even up, maybe. No, let's bring it down. Oh, so cute. So what do you think? Can we bring in that stamp or 
Are we afraid that if we do that, we're going to wreck our image? <laughs> um, oh, there's two of them. So there's this little swirl one right here. Or there's this one right here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just not even necessary. I mean, it would be cute. Yes, it would be cute. Let's do it. Let's flip this mat over because there's the perfect stamping platform on the back of that. I love this Versa mat. Okay, so, all right, here goes nothing, right? So I'm gonna ink that up. And let's go right about here. Ah, cute! Oh my goodness, I love that. And then let's put this one here. Oh, so cute. And this one, I'm not real sure if we could get this one. We'll go right over there. Kind of move this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm thinking that I would like one maybe here. And then let's bring let's bring one here. Love it. And then I'm going to bring another one definitely definitely here. And I will bring do you guys talk to yourselves when you <laughs> when you scrapbook? Because I'm constantly, I'm like my biggest critic too. Like I'm constantly, I'm constantly, I'm ridiculing myself and just talking to myself while I scrapbook. My kids are like, who are you talking to? I'm like, it's okay. I got it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so one, two, three, and one. Um, two, and uh, I'm gonna do another one of these little ones. Actually, I don't wanna do that up there because of that. So, oh, that's cute. But I wanna might wanna put a date there. Um, well, I guess I'm going to do that. Okay, so I like to work in odd numbers, so I just think it's more appealing to the eye. So I try to do like threes or fives, like a ground, like my embellishment clusters. So I've got one, two, and three here. And one, two, and three here. And I'm thinking that I need to kind of put, yeah, we'll do one here. So um, what does that give me? That gives me three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that is an odd number. Maybe I should just leave it like that. Yeah, let's leave it like that. I love it. Look at all that fun little detail on that butterfly. That is so cute. So I will be having um, another process video coming up with this paper collection and I will be doing a little series of cards. If you are looking for more inspiration with this paper collection, catch my next video. Till next time.